You're looking at a turbocharger on an OM617 Mercedes turbo diesel engine. You can see this is the mounting point of the turbocharger. Here's your center section, and here's the compressor section right here, which goes up to the intake manifold. And I want to encourage you to consider something. If you ever have one of these engines out of a car or you're doing an engine swap, that you rebuild the turbocharger when the engine is out of the car. Now, some people might think these turbos go forever. They'll keep running, but you don't know how gradually they start losing efficiency until you put a turbo test gauge on them and drive them. And we, by the fact, have a kit that you can purchase from us and go out and actually test how well your turbocharger is working. But I want to say this, when you do this job, when it's out of the car, it can save you considerable time and frustration. I have instructions that come with our kit, and these instructions include how to do this with it in the car. And what I like about my instructions is that we call it picture by picture, because I have a picture for every step of the operation of getting this turbocharger off the engine, getting it up on the bench, and overhauling it. I'm very proud to say we have the best overhaul kit in the world for redoing these particular turbos. The kit includes, you know, a complete kit like this of all new internal parts. We even give you the proper assembly lube and all the gaskets you'll need because there's a number of gaskets that are required for overhaul and a lot of these kits you find on the internet, they don't provide this paper gasket, they don't provide <laughs> this metal exhaust gasket and the, and the rubber O-rings that connect the compressor housing here to the air intake. So we provide all the gaskets. And then we do recommend that if your turbocharger has over 200,000 miles, you might want to consider installing a new turbine wheel and compressor wheel. We sell this as a kit. What I found in my own experience is that that at about 150 to 200,000 miles, these need to be taken apart and gone through. It's not so much the parts wear out, it's because of the carbon buildup, particularly in this turbine section where all the heat is and you get a lot of crusting from oil that's seeping out of the seals of the turbocharger. So I recommend this is something you do every 150 to 200,000 miles. And I'm gonna say once again, hey, if you happen to have the engine out of the car like this, Plan to do it now, you'll save a bunch of time.